um, with my mate Michael <laughs> and we actually on his farm haven't visited here in ages I was just gonna fish it with him because he's like a professional bass angler he's done nationals twice um, so yeah we're just cruising around on his farm he's got quite a big property and uh, we're gonna go to these sick gullies how are the gullies formed? Uh, water rushing in the mouth of the ears so ooh, check that dung what is that? porcupine be real of that. That's porcupine poop. So we hot on the trails. There's some caves in the gullies as well. And as he said, the gullies were formed over like a long period of time of water rushing through and I was made these deep gullies. And today we're gonna show you what they look like. See you there. Check these bones. Check these bones. That's a cow. Most likely. You good? <laughs> These gullies are just so, so cool. Okay, check this. Porcupine dung right here. Check this out. That's porcupine for sure. I'm just gonna crawl through this little gully. Michael, is that you? Yeah, yeah that's you. <laughs> Thank goodness. Dude, there's so much poo here. Check it this. Dude, that's a that's lot. And that's fresh. That might not be fresh, but because it's wet, but. No, that is there. Check it this. It's got the darker colour, the sun isn't even colour it yet. It's like 10.45 in the morning and it is just boiling hot. 35 degrees Celsius is cruising in the morning. I wonder what it's gonna be like this afternoon. But we're on a trail of porcupine. Hopefully we'll find one. That'll be cool. Just backtracking around because it's too thick to go through all that bush. So we're just gonna just gonna cruise through here. Whew. Ow! Whew. Crikey! Some nasty thorns. What's up? Ooh, that's nice and deep, right? Holy crap, look at this. It's like caves. Ooh. This way. Oh, it's getting up. It's fine. As long as the majority of it's down there. I hope that's gonna hold. Okay, that's gonna hold good. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> Shit. Luck boy. Really painful on the hands. <laughs> Should have brought gloves with. It's fine. Oh. And you're out, your hands are gonna get so sore. Just throw those ropes you like further hand. down there. Pop it on. Or are you just gonna climb with it? I'm gonna climb with it. Guys, this is so crazy. It's got an eerie smell like death. It smells like dead stuff. Oh, we left the back bag. That's cool. It smells like dead. Look at this. This is getting pretty scary. Check this cave. This is where we wanted to come explore, but I'm having second thoughts about this right now. Oh, there's bones lying outside. There's just bones chilling at the bottom of the cave. Look at that. That is either a leopard cave or a porcupine Shit, I'm gonna cave. Go get our backpack. We need headlights. Check this out. Yeah, we need headlights actually. That's a big bone. It smells like death. Like dead animal. <coughs> that stinks. This is pretty scary if there's a leopard in here. We'll probably be home right now. That is so deep. <coughs> stinks. Oh man, that reeks. Oh, check this out. This is where we're off to check these bones. Yeah, Mike, yeah, I found some porcupine quills. We're actually in the middle of nowhere right now. He lives on a farm far, far away in the mountains. And there is leopards in here, mountain leopards. And as you can see, see there's these tracks going up here. And then boom, bones. 
lots and lots of bones. Why am I doing this? I don't know. You ready for this? No. <laughs> the bones will just go into it. That's the thing that scares me. I mean, what, what's in there? But I'm also so keen to find out. Check, there's another poor human core. I mean, let's just do it. Like, if there was bones lying around here, it wouldn't even be that creepy. But there's bones legit going into the cave. Wait, I have a really hectic torch. <gasps> oh, shit, dude. Oh, sick. Let's go. Dude, it smells like a porcupine. It smells super strong. <laughs> Flip. Oh, my word, what am I doing? It's, I can, dude, don't do that. I can literally just smell it. I can smell a porcupine. This cave is super deep. <laughs> push the bones to the side. Don't worry about that. Oh. Remember, they can't turn around really in caves because then they quill jam the walls. So they can't walk backwards and upwards. So he'll stay forward at you. Just don't let him get too close. He's gonna freak out when he sees me. They're not used to humans. Why am I doing that? Are you coming or what? I'm coming. You need to get in. So I have to leave my phone out here. I'm gonna scratch it. Oh my gosh, that's deep. That's what's bothering me right now. Can you turn around? Yeah, obviously. Okay, cool. What am I doing? What am I doing? That is not what you want to see. What? A huge hornet's nest that's been broken out and eaten by spiders and a spider's nest in it now. <laughs> Don't touch the roof. I won't. There's nothing in there and even if there's something in there I can't fit in there. So uh, I think we have to turn around. That's my left foot. That's porcupine. No, that's not porcupine. Do you know that place stinks? Always good. We explored the cave. Let's head on. See what else we can find. That was crazy. <laughs> Still smokes me. I'm gonna keep my head out on in case we need more caves. Okay. Good idea. Take more bones, more porcupine coils. Oh, there's some water down here. That's pretty cool. Check this. There's three. She's just chilling. <laughs> Alright guys. Still in the gullies. Uh, yeah, end this video here. Um, we're still gonna go exploring. And if we find anything, we might put it in the video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And a huge shout out to Michael for taking me out here today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.